Hi, I'm JT Shrewsbury, and you're watching Scursive. Is it okay if I video? Okay, that's fine, yeah. Let's hide from Brandon. Awesome. All right. Wow, you do have us. Yeah, we didn't mean to be early. It just kind of happened that way. That's my life, too. There you go. Yep, don't touch it. Okay, folks, we are at Brain Brew in Newtown, Ohio, and we're here for their Woodcraft Custom Bourbon Tasting. Um, basically, I guess we'll get the spiel on it, uh, but we're going to be tasting bourbon here um, and rating each bourbon that they're giving us, and then they're going to use our rating of each bourbon to brew us our own personal um, shot of bourbon. And then of course, after, if you like it, which you should, um, you can actually have a custom bottle made. Uh, so um, we're, gonna, we're gonna try that here today. Uh, I'll probably let him do the spiel because mine probably sucks, but here we are, Brain Brew. What you all will be doing today is blending your own custom whiskey. You'll be doing that by watching this 15 minute long video that walks you through the entire process, okay? So, all the whiskey you have in front of you is everything you need for this experience, so I recommend not drinking it too quickly. You do need it to mix, that's why you're here, that's the fun part. I've had people go down the line in the first five minutes of being here and shoot all six of those, and then be upset because I will not fill them back up. So, hmm. I'm happy to top you off if you run out of one or two that you're using a lot, I'm always happy to do that, I just wanna make sure we're here doing what you came here to do. All right. So, at the end, if you'd like to order your own custom bottle, there's a QR code right here in the middle of this table. Mm -hmm. Put your, Go to that QR code, put your recipe in, send it to us, and we will have your bottle to walk out of here with today. Awesome. Okay. While you're waiting on your bottles to be made, on the back of your booklet there, there is a choice of either a whiskey flight or a cocktail flight. That's something that everybody gets to kind of finish the day with, all right? Okay. So, whenever you are ready, I'm actually gonna brighten this up real quick. Go ahead and hit play on this. And if you have any questions at all, my name is Ryan. I answered all the questions you could possibly think of, so do not hesitate to ask. All right, cool. Have fun, guys. Cheers. There's no lecturing to people. So throughout this program, don't be looking at somebody else to try to figure out what to do. We want you to create your whiskey for you your personal bourbon. It's the same with grains. You know, whiskey is basically spirit from grain. In Scotland, they make it from barley, and so they call it Scotch whiskey. In Canada, it's primarily made from rye, and that's called Canadian whiskey. In the US, most of it is made with at least 51% corn, and it's called bourbon whiskey. They're all wonderful, and we love them all. Today, we're gonna to take you back to the 1800s, the golden age of American whiskey and cocktails. You see, here's a quick history. In the 1700s, it was really a craft world, as farmers would take the grains and the corns and they would distill it into whiskey. That became their currency. 
Now the challenge was is these had many different tastes. Some were good, some were bad, but they were all different. By the 1800s, as cities were developing and metropolitan areas were developing, a solution to this variety of taste was barrel blenders. <clears throat> and these barrel blenders created finished products, improving the taste, adding complexity, and you'd actually go in and customize to your preferences. Blending was and is the secret. In Cincinnati alone, there were some 75 barrel blenders, just in Cincinnati. It was the number one industry in Cincinnati, far bigger than even than beer. In Louisville, famous Louisville, Whiskey Row was not distillers, it was barrel blenders. And this was going on around the world. A blending is also the solution to the whiskey aging challenge. Because you see, when you put those barrels in what's called a rick house, depending upon where they are, they all get different tastes. Now, many of these barrels by themselves are not that good. And so that's why the master bourbon blender's job is to craft the whiskey by putting the barrels together in the proper way. Because in fact, 70% of the flavor comes from this interaction of wooden whiskey. This is where the magic is. That's right. It's not distilling. This isn't beer. With beer, the brewer is very important. Here, it's the whiskey maker that's important. And in fact, the highest art is managing the wood. Now, sadly, when you go on a lot of tours on the bourbon trail, you don't hear a whole lot about the wood. I mean, there's some that are doing more. But this is where the magic is, and that's what you're going to learn today. We're going to taste the first three and rate each one. We've got the 200-year oak, the European oak, and the American oak. Taste three and aftertaste. Here's the rating list you can see here. I'm not very good at this. Let me look and see what I rated. It's just, uh, I don't have any different, differentiating thing. See, I rated it. Here's the rating. Mm -hmm. Hello, Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hold on. Oh, I think it's a very great concept. I'm excited. Yeah. It's, it's difficult. It's more difficult than you think to, to rate each one. I'm having problems. Yeah. Trying to figure out what I'm tasting and which one I like better. Like what I was telling them just now, like when I first tasted this first one, I like it pretty well, and then I started not liking the others. And then when I went back this way, I actually decided, okay, now I like this one the best. So like you're being very adult. <laughs> okay. Just. It's zen, man. Yeah. You just got to feel it. You just got to just taste. Because, so the difference is you're going to see when you get, where are you right now? You've got to the first three. The first three. 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 What you're going to find is that, so I'm Doug Hall. I'm one of the co with Joe. This is one of these crazy things. It seems like such a simple idea. Yes. But then figuring out how to do it, I mean, it took forever yeah. to get there. But the magic to this, is none of those whiskeys. As it turns out, they're all very good. Mm -hmm. But when you move, I've worked in the industry for 25 years, oh, with Diageo and McAllen for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And what the higher end products do is they'll take barrels from different parts of the brick house and they'll bring them together, or they'll take older with younger. So if it's a 12 year, they might put some 18 year in it mm -hmm. to make the taste so that it's like the difference between, if you have cheap bourbon, it's like one note on a piano. And if you have really good stuff, it's like layers and layers of flavor mm -hmm. that you get with it. And that's the idea here. And so by the time you're done, you're gonna taste the six. Then you're gonna to start to put them together. And the best advice, I'm, I'm out doing R&D in the garage right now. Okay, That's what nice. I'm doing all day. And I like your and job. Some R&D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got to have a good run too, so it's coming out good and I got some in right now. But the, um, 
when you start to put them together, you're going to find amazing things because you're going to get layers. Now you're starting to build an ultra premium luxury bird. Okay. And that's the whole idea here. Is it, this is not just throw shit together. It's this is the exact way that Bob Giugiano and McCallum taught me how to put these things together. Okay. And what you're trying to do is you're, you're building up those layers to get the kind of taste. So right now what you're doing is you're getting a reference point. Just getting okay. to understand how you react to them. And don't look on anybody else's paper because they don't know shit about what you like. Right. Okay? right. Yeah, I think we're all rating different. Yeah, Each yeah, of us, yeah, and, and trust that. Trust Where people screw up is they try to listen to other people. I was down in Lexington at the Bluegrass Tavern. We had our machines. They were using app, which when you get done, use the app. Because the app has a lot of, it, it can think in five and six dimensions. So don't get pissed at it. It's just, it can do more than you get. And then fiddle with it. And I go to a lady and I said, what do you think of your bourbon? She said, well, mine's great, but I don't know, understand why you made such a crappy one for my husband. And I asked the husband, I said, well, what do you think? He said, well, mine's amazing. I don't know, I can't believe you made that for her. Mm -hmm. They started to fight with each other. <laughs> I said, folks, this is about in the 1800s, everybody had their own bourbon. You go into a barrel blender, you say what you like, and they put it together and put it in your clay jug. That's what we're doing. Right. It's that simple. Yeah. Huh. It's that I like simple. it. I think yeah. it's great. And yeah. so the key I'm is to not overthink. Right. To me, bourbon is something to be drank, to be enjoyed, and to have fun with. Mm -hmm. When you overthink it, you're working your head too much. Okay. Just feel it. Right. Just feel it. Good to know. Feel the six. And then what interestingly what you're gonna find is that the one you one of the ones you don't like, when you put it into the mix, it's like throwing in that little bit of spice. Okay. Changes the whole thing. Right. Yeah. So just take your time and chill and uh, do it. But bourbon is to be enjoyed and have fun. That's right. our view. Awesome. And so just trust your instincts. They're yeah. better than you think. Now, when you get to the smoke, that's like a whole other world. I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a world of crazy. Yeah. It's a world of crazy. Yeah. And that's the one that, when we hit that one, we had, after 18 months, we put some in a competition down in New Orleans. And Joe said, I want to drive down. I said, come on, Joe, it's our first competition. We're not going to get anything. Sure enough, we won two of six double goals that wow, And nice. one of them was for that smoke. Wow, nice. Which is just stupid. You either love it or you hate it. Yeah. But yeah. as a spice cabinet, it's precious. Right. So. Nice. OK. Hey, have fun. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you want to taste something cool? Yes, absolutely. So this will be our this spring, it's a wheat whiskey, which is like the Pinot Noir of whiskey. Okay. So very um, light. Okay. Okay. 95% wheat. This is very different than these. This is also 51%. Okay. So this is part of our Dexter Great Grains collection. Dexter's our big dog. And we have a wheat, a rye, and a barley. I'm not going to say more than Okay. But try a taste of this. And when it comes out, it's going to be just a very small batch. You'll get an email with it. You'll want to get it right away. Because okay. the first one, when we did the first one, it sold out in 50 minutes. Ooh, really? Wow. So think of springtime. You're in, say, Washington, D.C., the Cherry Blossom Festival. The sun's going Ooh. down. You got the cherry blossoms out there. You get yeah. some cherry wood. You get some 200 year oak in there. And um, you've got this very light, clean, Finish. And just finish that is like the freaking forever. Is great. That's come. That, that, that's just amazing. That's what got me was the finish. Oh, yeah. Kind of hit me all of a sudden. It's not bourbon. I like it. I like it too. It's this is really double good. gold, highest recommendation, ninety-five. It just crushed everything. Right. Right. What's that called again? It's a, it's a it's wheat. It's gonna be a De Dexter small batch Dexter. wheat. Okay. So it'll Dexter be a Dexter small, small wheat. batch wheat that'll be okay. out. And. Um, but it, it, so it's just a different thing. It's the kind of thing that you'd have first as one, um, and then you go up to the bigger ones. Okay. And then the rye is just crazy. Our ryes are at 97 points. They're just amazing. Right. But anybody can make a rye. Rye's easy. Okay. This is hard. Yeah. And that's why we worked on it, because right. wheat is like the hardest. Because if you get it right, it's magic. But you could, there's so much crappy wheat whiskey. Yeah. That you just can't do it, so. Okay. So this will be a special release. It'll be out this spring, probably for Father's Day. Is what we'll probably oh, I'll also get it. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll keep it. Keep, yeah, definitely. So, but you're also welcome now. But it'll be just a, a short edition. So, <laughs> thank you for your support. Thank you. Thanks, thank you. It.
Do you have any questions? Sorry. Let Brian know or me. I'm just going to memorize. Sorry, right. Right. Awesome. Thank you. It is really good. Mm. This is better. But you've been over in Scotland. <clears throat> so next up, the craft age of whiskey. Now, creating this custom bourbon experience had some challenges. One of them was being able to create bourbons that really taste different because sometimes they're all pretty close to the same. And even more important, making it so that it could be affordable and reproducible so that if six months from now you want to get another bottle of your bourbon, you can still get it. Our solution to that was something we call woodcraft finishing. We take the wood, we toast it, and we put it into the whiskey. We then heat it and cool it with very high precision to within a tenth of a degree. From this, the color develops, the smoothness, and the flavor. And that's how we get amazing whiskey, 100% natural. It's no different than the normal process of wood, alcohol, heating, and cooling, only instead of summer to winter or day to night, we're controlling it so that there isn't variation in the process. You know, the traditional bourbon maker has a pretty tight range because they're using predominantly American oats. The craft whiskey makers yeah. are bringing new creativity with different woods and different dimensions. And so now you're going to get to taste some amazing new things. Some cherry wood, which gives amazing brightness. Remember, this is the exact same whiskey. Mm -hmm. You're going to experience the wonders of cherry wood and then maple wood, which gives a wonderful mellowness. <clears throat> And then smoked oak, which is like to hit a nothing you've ever tasted before. You're gonna rate those too, so just give it a little pause. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it now. Do this. Okay, so next up, blending. Here we go. Here we go. Blending. Of whiskey. It costs thirty eight dollars. Oh, okay. Started it over again. Got bourbon to its roots. Of the people, by the people, but for the people. Well, this is a maybe more of the setup. We, we, need a, we need a guide. That's what Susan's here for. Pause. You're in charge of the pause button from now on. Doug came over and talked to you for yeah. a bit. So yeah. yeah, that was awesome. Cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I think yeah. cherry wood's probably leading my. Uh... I like the cherry wood and the American oak. It's probably my favorite. Uh -huh. The maple wood's my favorite. The ma maple wood and European oak are my nice. two favorites. Okay, see, isn't that crazy that literally all three of you are totally different on yeah. what you love? Yeah. yeah. That's that's what we celebrate here. So that's how awesome. you keep back, keep getting to it. All right. All right. All right thank you, sir. This is where we're at. Okay, so we've got, I've got my sheet filled out with its multiple corrections. You're not supposed to overthink this, but you know I typically overthink everything. Uh, you can see how much bourbon I have left. And I think we're going to start section three now, where we actually start blending. The three of us who are master bourbon blenders, Joe, Philip, and myself, Doug, we've put together sort of a yellow brick road for you. It's on the tasting mat right in front of you. The first one I'd try is look back at your tasting and pick the two favorites. And just like making a, a chord on a guitar or on a piano, when you have two notes, you get more complexity than when you have one. So take your two favorites and put them together. <clears throat> then add even more complexity. Now going to three. You'll be amazed at how it shifts. Now we're going to kind of mess with your head a little bit, but this is one of the secrets that master blenders know. There'll be one or two that you don't like. Take two of your favorite, two of your next, and now try one of the ones that you don't like. And you'll be surprised that while you don't like it by yourself, it provides a contrast which makes much more complexity and interest. Okay, so you've gotten yourself some base. Now, remember when I said the half, the other end of the ladle? Now take it, go like one and a half, or two and a half, and tweak it up and down. Lastly, our friends at the Eureka Ranch, our sister company, have created something called Bourbon Wizard. And this is a really cool thing. They took the wisdom from the three our three blenders and they put it into the computer. Kind of freaky, but amazing. Answer 13 questions, go to it, use your phone to get there. Answer the questions and it will predict your recipe and you can try that and then tweak it. 
because you might want it a little different. Take a pause. Have some fun, folks. Okay, you're right. So here's so on your next step. So you get your next glass. I'm gonna put that on two. So you get two ml of your favorite. Which I don't have much to do with. Yeah, you needed the other two. Yeah, huh? the cherry would be the main one. Yeah. Alright, perfect. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. This <laughs> cherry's high. What happened here? Yeah. Yeah. That's some good stuff. Yeah, I think I need that American loop. That is some good stuff right there. The private stock is delicious. Too. Which part of stock? Well, I created it. One or two. Mm -hmm. Private stock of the woman. Awesome, cool, thank you. You're welcome. I really care for private stock number two. My least favorite was the smooth, so it tastes like crap. <laughs> I like my. I like my um, but it is interesting. So now we're going to do two favorite. Oh no, that was next favorite, next favorite. Why did you say that? That's actually pretty good. Which one are you number two? My number three, which is. Same as number one, but as a milliliter of your least favorite. That's the, the smoke. smoke. It is delicious. No, I'm gonna fuck out of here. I'm gonna do that next. It's really good. <laughs> you could make a. Uh, you could make a. Uh, uh, Manhattan's album without having to smoke it. This is pretty good. Wow. Wow. I don't think that's my favorite. Mm. I think I'm liking this one here. How'd you guys even hear of this? I think I like my contrast better. I like the complex better. I'll make it again. Which one? See, that's what I was thinking too. I'm not overthinking. Yeah, I'm not on my contrast. Need some water. Cause it's got that. Yeah, I'm gonna make them again and try it. Try it again. Because see, I, I did the, the bourbon wizard, and the bourbon wizard surprisingly picked the same ingredients as I did for my private stock number four. Same ingredients that I have, same four ingredients. It's amazing, except different proportions. So I'm trying to decide whether to go with my private stock number four or with the bourbon wizard. Sounds easy. I think I'm going with uh, that's my private stock. That's the bourbon wizard. Ready to buy <clears throat> so here we go. I'm ready to buy a bottle. Yep, you got it. I'm ready to I'm buying it. What were you gonna call it? Yeah, see, I don't like the wizard one as well as I like my private stock number four. So I'm going to stick with my private stock number four for my, uh, it just has a, a perfect blend for me. Um, 
even though it's the same four bourbons, just tweaked a little bit, same amount of alcohol, the, the flavor of this blend is, is noticeably different than, than the other ones. So I'm very, very, very excited. So I'm not gonna buy that bottle, I'm gonna buy a bottle of this, of my private stock, and it's gonna be called Scursive. If you want a bottle, hit me up. I don't know if I'm allowed to sell it, but uh, for a noticeable donation, I can gift it to you. <laughs> uh, it's one of the 200 Euro, one of the European, no, one and a half of the European, one and a half cherry wood, and one of the maple wood. But I think I kind of like mine that I made better, <clears throat> which is two. Two mLs of the 200 Euro, one of the European, one of the American, and one of the cherry. I just tasted that smoke again. It tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the band aids taste. And what's yours? Uh, mine is um, one of the 200 year oak and two of the European oak, and 1.5 of the cherry wood. I think that's what I'm going with. like the after the long after taste of the European the one that I the, the one that it recommended you're all good here so still yeah, yeah. very yeah, cool I go right yeah, awesome we gotta finish that video too well uh yeah oh yeah there's like two minutes to tell oh, you how it? to finish it oh, okay I mean, you're welcome too no, that's, that's uh but so now you want to use this uh, the QR code in the corner of your booklet put your order in and send it to us all right okay and okay. then we'll we'll have it ready for you in about five ten minutes uh, and while you're waiting, you guys all get a flight, so whiskey or cocktails. Okay. So, yeah, so whenever you're ready, those come in. My man Greg in there, he'll run over there and make it, and I will knock those uh, flights out for you, okay? Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So, all yeah, right, cool. When I see those come through, then I'll come and ask what you want on the flights. All right, okay. awesome. Awesome. So there you have it, folks. Uh, brain brew. Can we just very, very on? interesting uh, concept. Very fun to do. I'm having a blast. Here, right? I'm gonna buy a couple bottles. Scursif. Test it. See how this works this time. Ooh, but this has the rye. I didn't like to try the rye. Okay, why is it taking so long? I think that's because it's going through. Oh. Usually, if it doesn't go through, it doesn't take that long. I'll do the. Uh, What'd you think of uh, yeah. Brain Brew, Susan? All right. And for you, sir. This is deep with the DD, oh, like a. Whiskeys. Ooh, like a cocktail. Would you, guys like no, ice would you like a Shirley, Shirley Temple? Uh, no, thank you. No, no. Cool. All right. I'll bring Can she get some, uh, like a, a Coke or something? A Diet Coke? Oh, yeah. Would you like a Diet Coke? I'd like a regular Coke, not a Diet Coke. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't finish all your bourbons. Yeah, that's what What's up? Okay, so we, got, we each got a flight. You get to choose it. A flight at the end of your, you know, they're they're out there making our bottles now, a bourbon, our custom bottles of bourbon, and you get a flight while you're waiting. So we, I got this right here, had a wheel bourbon, which is right, those three right there, and then they got the bourbons, which is the whiskeys, the whiskey. All right, what do you guys? What's you guys overall critique? The whole experience. The whole experience. Likes, dislikes. I, mean, I like it. it kind of helps you hone in on some of the what you really like or what you're really looking for. Yeah. In the bourbon, I like how it kind of crafted you know, to each person's taste what they like. You can't buy it in a store. Yeah. Exactly. So all, all overall experience was very nice. Our flavor profiles are different, so we each bought a bottle of of custom bourbon like to our code. flavor profile and each of our favorite pro fra flavor profiles are different so are you speaking discursive I'm, i might be speaking discursive that's i mean yeah, I, you guys saw how much bourbon we've been drinking and we got several top offs <laughs> to mix these things in so <laughs> uh, we, we've had a great time but you know they're, they're making our bourbons you know you like right now it? and you know you, you get a right. custom label uh, <clears throat> uh, really great experience if you've never been here I highly encourage you to, to try it out, especially if you're into bourbon. Check it out. You will definitely enjoy the experience. You'll learn a lot and you know about bourbon and different whiskeys and 
flavor profiles and it's really simple. You just go through the exercises and uh, you, it'll spit out, you know, at the end you'll have basically, once you blend your own whiskey, you taste it. It is delicious because it comes from your flavor profile. You just blended something from using different whiskeys, different bourbons to make something custom that's unique to you, that you enjoy. Um, so if you want, and the bottles aren't bad. Uh, they're only 45 bucks a bottle, and that's your custom bottle. Buy as many as you want. And they save your recipe. So anytime you want to come up here, you can actually just say, give me another bottle of, in this case, Scursif. You know? uh, and, and again, if you, if, if you want to try my version, you can actually come here yourself and request a bottle of Scursif. And you'll, you'll get this bourbon that I just, uh, I just made today. All right, folks, here it is. Bottle of Scursive. If you enjoyed this video, this please hit the like and subscribe button. Hi, I'm JT Shrewsbury, and you're watching Scursive. Watch <laughs> oh. <laughs> you both, you, we all say we're you watching Scursive. Oh, okay. When? Do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm JT Shrewsbury, and you're, you're watching, watching Scursive. Scursive. <laughs>